What's good, YouTube, man? And welcome back to another video, man. Once again, we are back with early access for NBA 2K23. I want to give a huge shout out once again to 2K for inviting your boy out for Community Day and getting me out there along with other creators to capture, you know, early gameplay footage and stuff like that and make content for you guys. Um, so for today's video, as you guys can see, man, we are going to be making this 6-3. It's a 6-3 small four build. And I'm not going to lie, like, I look, you feel like this could kind of be like a meta build in a sense, along with like the 6-1 guard as well. So I got a lot in store for y'all, man. If anybody's new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to turn those post notifications on and let's go ahead and get straight into this. So y'all can see right here, man, we are rocking out with that 6-3 with the height. 175 is the lowest way that you can go with this with the wingspan of 6-3 as well. Don't worry about the name right there. I know it says Mitchell Inkrot. Um, If y'all don't know who that is, we're going to explain it in another, in another video. So be ready for that. So y'all can see, man, I went with a 92 three-pointer with this build. And just going through this, this I think this was my second build that I ended up creating. Just kind of upgraded. And y'all can see, bro, as you're going through this builder, say, for instance, you put up your ball handle, bro, your driving layup, your speed, your acceleration, all that stuff is just flying up for you, bro. It's like, like I said in the other video, you cannot have three areas where your player is super overpowered you know you can't have those overpowered builds like you could in previous games like 2k21 next gen 2k22 um so yeah a lot of that stuff is getting upgraded for you as you're going through the builder we got an 80 driving dunk for quick drops and also on top of that more dunk packages we have a 95 stamina you guys can see that the defense is definitely lacking so this is what i would say when you're going through your builds me I prefer to have a lockdown on my team and I prefer to have a center, you know, let the guard do the guard work and stuff like that. To get interceptor in this game, bro, you have to have a pretty high steal. So I know in 2K22, I think you needed like a 60 something, a 60 something, 70 steal rating to get interceptor. This year, that's really not the case. And y'all can see right here as well, interceptor this year is a tier three badge. So in previous 2Ks, we have not had this tier system. We have tier one, which is kind of like your bronze, your silvers, might have some gold in there as well. And then tier twos, you also have your bronze, your silvers, your golds. And then tier threes, those are really like your super overpower badges in a sense. Those are the badges that everybody would use in previous 2Ks that would be super overpowered. We have a 91 ball handle, 95 speed with ball, and 85 pass accuracy. In older 2Ks, 2K22, 2K21, that's like your gold bullet passer range. 80, 80 being like the start of that to get that gold bullet passer. Spit like this 6-3 build is gonna be pretty decent, man. You have an 80 driving dunk once again. You have a 72 driving layup, which is really good. Like I said in the other video as well, man, I feel like driving, I feel like the layups are gonna be pretty good this year compared to dunks. This build also does get slashing take man so you get slashing take you get shot creating take you get sharp take and you get playmaking take you can see the shades of right there Mikael Bridges we have RJ Barrett and we have Latrell Spurwell man the bill ended up coming out as a three-point power forward what a three-point power forward this is a six-three small forward build man and it came out as that we got a new build name and i actually ended up liking how this build came out i think i'm gonna lab this up a little bit more once the game comes out once i get my hands on the game and i'm gonna try to make a, like a crazy like six three six four maybe even a six five small forward um i just feel like these heights might be kind of fun to use even on a 2v2 or even in a 1v1 so i feel like that's gonna be kind of lit giant slayer will go we have that fearless finisher on bronze we have acrobat on bronze as well and if i'm not mistaken i'm pretty sure i think i threw on giant slayer as my core badge yes so you guys can see core badge we have giant slayer right here now on to the shooting man 23 shooting badges is right here you already know green machine on bronze we're gonna have that guard up I, i'm not gonna lie to y'all i actually really do like the guard up badge so i ended up throwing that on gold so right now we have amped on gold i ended up changing that trying to figure out exactly where i want to throw these shooting badges dead i see here's the thing about the tier system man shooting badges you have limitless range you have dead eye you have blinders and you have agent threes in 2k22 those are kind of like your like main four shooting badges that you would want you would want chef you would want dead eye you would want blinders you would want agent threes you would want those pretty much all on hall of fame this year you can't do that so ggs to that agent threes we ended up throwing that on silver now into playmaking y'all can see quick first step on hall of fame unpluckable on gold and once again comparing like trey young kyrie irving those type of guards you might even be fine with like silver or bronze unpluckable we'll just have to see once the game comes out 
how these lockdown builds are gonna be, how people are gonna be performing with these lockdowns. Also ended up going with killer combos on gold as well and handles for days on silver you already know handles for days on silver handles for days on bronze i think people are gonna have to stick with like silver being the maximum now if i see people like really like trying to lean towards having that on gold bro hey best of luck to you you have clamp breaker as well clamp breaker not my personal favorite badge i don't think i'm gonna have this on my build and mismatch expert i probably will end up having that on like silver gold maybe we'll end up rocking diamond probably on bronze for you know my my spot ups and stuff like that so right now we have mismatch on silver we're gonna throw that dimer on bronze i was thinking needle threader maybe hyperdrive but at the same time i was like eh, i don't know man so i threw on vice grips on bro uh vice grips on bronze so if y'all don't know what vice grip is y'all remember it if y'all remember in 2k22 if you were a guard or a lockdown or even a center you feel me say for instance the center gets a rebound or your lockdown gets a rebound defender runs up he pokes the ball from you instant turnover you can't do anything about it say for instance you're a guard and you're trying to get the ball uh you're trying to push the ball up from an inbounds you get the ball ripped i actually ended up losing in a qualifier for the 2k league i think it was me Demi and Prod, and we were actually one round away from the finals, and we lost because of that. Thank God Vice Grips is in the game. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And y'all can see as well, man. Y'all can see right here. Choose your jump shot for testing. So, if y'all don't know, I'll pull the tweet up right here. Y'all can see this right here. Jump shots are capped by your height on your build. So you have your smalls, you have your swings, and you have your bigs. So your smalls are 6'5 and lower. Your swings are going to be your 6'5 to 6'9 range for your height. And then your bigs are going to be your 6'10s and up. I have small jump shots right here. We have all guard jump shots. So y'all can see we have Stephen Curry. We have Trey Young. We have Seth Curry, Damian Lillard. All those names are right there. So yeah, that's what we have right there, man. I appreciate you guys for tuning in today's video. Once again, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, turn those post notifications on. Make sure you guys are following me on Twitter as well so you guys don't miss any updates, information, and all that good stuff. And I'll catch you guys in my next video.